Okay. What what happens when you get a call that says Will Packer and and company say yes to you? What happens? Speechless. This right here is what happens. I could not believe it, but yet I could because it was such a miracle and a making story for me. Honestly, when I found out that my tapes were being sent, I was like, God, your hand is all over this. I'm just waiting for that call. So my faith was enacted. So it was just kind of like a feeling of, yes, the manifestation has finally come into fruition. And you talk about finally coming into fruition. So if you could, you know, in a short range say, what was the journey like for you? Like how many auditions had you gone on? How many no's did you get before this finally happened for you? That's such a good question. I actually stopped acting. And so in 2020, I had moved. I stopped my program with theater and I got an audition from a friend. Needless to say, I auditioned for Praise This. I don't even know if I did the audition right, but I didn't hear anything back for two years. Coming out of my senior class, uh, I just graduated college. And Congratulations. <laughs> thank you so much. Literally, I was coming out. All of a sudden I found out they're like, hey, are you still available? Two years later, before I knew I was auditioning and then it all came back that's God that is God <laughs> absolutely thank you for sharing that and I'm looking behind me even at this poster which this is just a few of yeah. the stars including yourself that played a part in this movie what was it like for you to just be part of such a star-studded cast I mean it was just so amazing because even though everybody is at such great levels everybody was so supportive and so it was just a feeling of yes I'm meant to be here not only because of an internal feeling but because my castmates made me feel that way and so I'm so grateful for all of them so now you get this role. It's a successful film already. Yes. We're claiming that. Yes. And so you were somebody who said no to acting. Then you said, okay, Lord, I hear you. Yeah. What happens from here? What can you pull from this experience that you want to anchor you as you move forward? You have to keep trusting. And even if God tells you to surrender a thing, it's because he wants your heart, but he will give it back to you. We, we have countless stories of that in the Bible, and we can just see that in other people's life. Don't lose heart. Don't lose hope. And this is what's anchoring me on my journey. Any other place I'm supposed to be, it's, I know I'm supposed to be there because God sent me there. So, yeah. Well, thank you. And thank you, God, for sending her here to talk to me. I appreciate thank you. Congratulations. You nice to meet you. Thank you for sharing. Seriously, I appreciate that. Thank you. So nice to meet you.